نحمده ونصلي على رسوله الكريم اعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي امري واحلل عقده من لساني يفقهوا قولي واجعل لي وزيرا من اهلي اللهم فكهنا في الدين امين ثم امين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته سورة اللحب تبت يدا أبي لحب وطب تبت The root word is تا با با تا با با means to destroy, destruct or to perish The ta sakin here, it signifies that in this past perfect verb, the verb or the activity is being done by the third person feminine singular. The ta sakin is signifying that it is pointing that this verb is being done by whom? By a singular feminine. Tabat parish, yada. Yad means the hand. Yada both the hands and we do know that the body parts all the body parts which are in pairs like the two eyes the two ears the two hands the two feet arms and the legs they are paired body parts they are considered as feminine so yada is referring to the the hands which are taken as feminine so the verb situation of these two hands is been signified as tabbat for feminine. Tabbat yada, parish both hands of whom? Abi Lahab, of Abu Lahab. What tab? The root word again is tababa. And uh, this is the past perfect verb for the third person masculine. And he will perish. Wa tab, and he will perish. Ma, this is a negative particle and it means not or no. Not agna, a whale, will give advantage, will be profitable, will be useful and will be uh, will be productive, will a whale. An who? An is uh, a short word and it means of or for who him malu who mal is the wealth the positions who signifies the pronoun for the third person masculine singular malu who his wealth wa and ma what kasaba kasaba means what the person has a has earned or has acquired by the work of his own hands or by the activity of his own hands. Kasaba, what he has earned. So if I repeat the words now, Allah says, Ma'agna will not avail of him his wealth and what he earned. Sayasla, sin zabursa, this is a prefixed particle, uh, particle, and this actually means when it is fixed before a verb, this signifies that this verb or activity is being, will be done in future and in near future. So sa means that the verb which is being shown will be carried on in near future. Yasla, this is a uh, this is a uh, imperfect imperfect uh, word, and uh, the root word is swadlam. Wow, means to enter, to throw, to push, or to put into. Sayasla, in near future, he will be thrown, he will be put into, he will be pushed, and he will be made to. Enter Naran, a fire. And this is what? This is the fire or the hell fire. 
And what will be the fire like? Zata lahab. Zata of lahabin, blazing flames. So now let's repeat the words again. Sayasla, in near future, he will be thrown, he will be pushed, he will be put into Nara, a fire of blazing flames. Wamra atu hu wa and Amra atu. Amra atu means the wife, the female spouse, who means his. Wamra atu means what? And his wife, Hamalata. Ha mean lam means to carry the weight, the load. Hamalata is a female carrier of what? Al hatab. Hatab means the firewood. Fi in gdi ha. Ha is a pronoun for the singular, for the third person, for the third person singular feminine. Gdi means the neck. Gdi ha in her neck. Habalon, a rope. Mim of masad, palm fiber. So now repeat the words again. In her neck will be a rope of palm fiber. So now repeating all the words again, starting from the first words. Tabat, parish, both hands of Abi Lahab, Watab. And he will perish or he will be destroyed. Ma, not a whale of him or for him. Ma, luhu, his wealth. Wama, and what? Kasaba, he earned. Sayosla, in near future, he will be made to enter. He will be thrown in. He will be pushed in. Nara in the fire of Lahabin blazing flames, Vamra Atuhu and his wife, Hammalatal Hatwab, the carrier of firewood, Fi in Jidiha, her neck, Habalun, a rope, Min of Masad, palm fiber. Sadaqallahul Azim.